Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Anthony. I'm Anthony Peluso, founder of Wealth for Life and Australian property expert. Today we're going to talk about money. Surprise, surprise, okay? Why keeping money in the bank is probably sending you broke. Here's the thing, guys. We've all been brought up to have a particular type of relationship or our own relationship with money, okay? Most of it comes from what we saw and what we heard as kids, as children growing up and some of the experiences we've had around money. And it brings us to present time with regards to how we handle money and our relationship to money. You know, I remember growing up as a kid and uh, I had parents that kept telling me, you gotta buy a house, you gotta buy a house, you gotta buy a house. And debt is bad, all debt is bad. Don't get into debt. If you have gotta borrow money from the bank, borrow as little as you can and pay it off as fast as you can. And save your money, save your money. What was the, uh, what was the subject, what was the, the, the word that if uh, a, penny, a penny saved is a penny earned? That doesn't work in uh, 2019, okay? Um, and it probably hasn't worked for a very, very long time, okay? Because here's the thing, if money could talk, right? Just imagine money could talk. What would it actually say to you? Would it say that you don't enjoy its company very much or, uh, or would it say that you, know, you hold on to it so tightly, how can it actually do any work for you anyway? And the thing with money is that you need to be able to move money around, okay? You need to be able to move money around because money itself is absolutely useless, okay? It's what you can do with money that makes it powerful, okay? You know, if all you did was keep a million dollars, two million dollars, ten million dollars in the bank and never spent it, never used it, it's worthless, right? It becomes valuable when you can use it and when you can transfer it and send it, you know, around the universe in exchange for goods and services and value in the marketplace, okay? And people don't get that, okay? So they're always saving, 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 saving money because they're hearing their parents and, you know, their, their conditioning and their upbringing as, as, as kids and going through school and, and teenagers that you've got to save, 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 save. You've got to learn to be able to accumulate money, you know, attract money, accumulate it, multiply it, invest it, um, grow it, and more importantly, Leverage it. Use money to attract more money that attracts more money that attracts more money, okay? Use principles like compounding and leverage, the two most powerful tools when it comes to building wealth, okay? But saving money is not going to create you wealth. I know nobody that saved their way to wealth, okay? Nobody, okay? If you have a look at anybody that's created wealth, right? They've used money to start a business and, and, and grow their business. They've invested in either shares or real estate, or they've just used money to actually attract value, to send value out into the marketplace, to create value and exchange goods or services that help them grow themselves, their brand, their business, their portfolios, or what have you, okay? Keeping money in the bank has never worked. It doesn't work for a number of reasons. $300,000 in 14 months. $200,000 passive income for the rest of your life when you stop working. $200,000 in capital growth over a two year period. These are some of the results that our clients have achieved over the last 12 months. My name's Anthony Peluso, CEO and founder of Wealth for Life. We're gonna be running some special events in a town, in a city near you over the coming weeks called An Evening with Wealth for Life. Go on to our website or call us on 1300 793 and make a time to book in and come to one of these events. Keeping money in the bank has never worked, it doesn't work. For a number of reasons. One, it's actually dead money, okay? So you keep money in the bank, uh, it gets eaten away by inflation, okay? So in Australia anyway, you're probably lucky if you're gonna earn 3%, you know, 4% term deposits are almost gone. You're earning 3% on your money, okay? When you take inflation into account that sits at around 2.63% and the fact that you're paying tax on any interest you earn on your money, 
your money's really not doing much, okay? If you're actually gonna keep it in the bank, what I say to people, keep it under your bed. Save, save yourself the trouble of going to, and waiting in line at the ATM or dealing with people in the bank to get your money out, okay? It's an absolute waste, okay? With money, you've gotta be able to attract it, pull it in, and then under, get, pay attention to it, see the value of it, and then move it out into the marketplace, okay? Invest that money, okay? Use it to start a business, use it to develop yourself, use, use it to, to grow your portfolio, buy something with money that attracts more money, you know, put your money into assets that appreciate in value and create more money, or use your money to attract more cash flow, okay? And this is the thing that a lot of people actually don't understand. You know, as human beings, we, we feel uncomfortable when we don't have money in the bank, okay? And that's understandable, but you can have money at your disposal very, very quickly just by putting it in different, um, attract, you know, parking it in different places, like you know, offset accounts where they're reducing interest on your, on your loan, um, you know, attach it to a property or a share portfolio where you can pull the money out when you need it. But more importantly, as soon as you get the money, send it back out into the marketplace to attract and, 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 and to, to pull in more money. Right? Exchange it for a good or service that can actually help you. You know? I'll give you an example. You know, I'll take you, I'll, I'll share one part of my business with you, right? One of my one of my departments in my business where we look at social media. We get money in as an organization, we send it back out through our department of uh, of, of social media, and we're buying advertising space online immediately. Okay. What does that do? It enhances my brand, it enhances our value proposition, it gets the word out into the marketplace about what it is we do. It gets us new business, it gets us new clients, um, and it lets people know that we exist, okay? We use that money to get attention. We get attention, it pulls in more money, okay? We recycle that money back out into the marketplace through our online strategy to pull in more money, and it just expands bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So that's very good use of money, okay? If you've got a business, obviously you'll use that money to grow your business. If, you, if you've got an investment portfolio, you'll leverage your cash to buy as many assets as possible and then borrow the rest from the banks, okay? And that's called leverage, okay? So stay away from, if, if, stay away from keeping money in the bank because if you're keeping money in the bank, you really don't understand the money game and you've really got no hope of creating wealth, okay? Um, it becomes dead money, it's dormant, it's not working for you, and the cost of goods, the cost of living is increasing at a far, far, far greater rate than your money sitting in the bank doing nothing, okay? Bank managers won't tell you that, okay? Because their job is to actually get your money in the bank, right? Give you 4% and lend it back out at 6% and they make their 2%, 3% in the middle, okay? So they take your term deposit money that you've put in there, right? Then they package it up um, and put it back out there in the form of a home loan or investment loan out to other people at a much, much higher, sorry, at a much, much higher rate, okay? They'll push the money out at 6%, pay, take their two or 3% cut in the middle, pay you your 2% term deposit, okay? You don't wanna be the guy, you don't wanna be the guy that's got their money in a term deposit. You actually wanna be the guy that's borrowing the money at you know at 5%, 6%, putting that out into the marketplace and then growing your investment portfolio, your, your, you know, if you're in shares, business, real estate, getting your money to grow, you, you, multiply, you know, your money should be, should be making babies with more money and then it expands and it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows. It can't do that sitting in a bank, okay? So move away from this mindset that you need to keep money in the bank, okay? Because that's fear. That's, that's a fear-based approach to money. If all you're doing is getting money and putting it in the bank, getting money and putting it in the bank, it's a fear-based approach. You're holding, you're holding onto it so tightly because you don't believe that you can accumulate or attract anymore. The importance of having a one-on-one -on -one consultation with one of our advisors. Number one, you wanna know how to pay off the mortgage on your home in the fastest possible way. How about understanding and learning how you can become debt-free forever? Imagine paying less tax and having more money going to your pay packet every fortnight. What about securing your financial future and your retirement 
so you never have to worry and stress about money ever again. These are the things that we go through with you in a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Some of the results that we've achieved for our clients by sitting down with us one-on-one, -on -one, we had one couple who created $300,000 in 14 months. We had another gentleman who's gone on to amass a fortune in real estate that's going to pay him $200,000 per annum for the rest of his life when he stops working. These are just some of the things that come out by sitting down with our advisors in a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Get your goal planning and you get, get your, set, your, your financial planning and your goal setting right in 2019. Take advantage of the tremendous opportunities that exist in the Australian property market right now. Call 1300 793 or visit wealthforlife.com.au and book an appointment in with one of our investment advisors to get your money right in 2019. This is what I've realized. <clears throat> people that can, pull, that can attract money, that can earn money, create money, well, we can't create money, but people that, that can move money around and, and pull in a lot of money, never fear spending money, okay? The only people that don't like to spend money are people that believe they can't get any more of it, okay? So for someone like myself, I don't mind moving money around into the marketplace and I move it very, very, very quickly around in the marketplace to give me the things I need to enable my businesses, my portfolios, basically brand Wealth for Life and brand Paluso to actually expand, okay? Um, and you know, people that are keeping it in the bank just don't believe that they'll get any more of it if the money they're holding on to disappears. Your money, like you need to pay attention to your money, okay? You can't have it go to sleep because that's what it's doing when you keep it in the bank. It's actually going to sleep, okay? You need to get it up, you need to wake it up Get it working, get it multiplying in the marketplace, leverage your money, okay? And we do that very, very well here at Wealth for Life. Um, you know, we'll turn somebody's $100,000 into five, five million dollars, six million dollars, very, very easily over a period of time, okay? And that's what you wanna be able to do with your money, okay? You can keep money, um, you can actually be, you can, you can be moving money around through your portfolio by keeping your money in a certain way in a bank, Okay, to either reduce interest um, or have it, you know, have, it, have it leveraged against some real estate to attract more money, but keeping it in a term deposit or in a savings account, that is dead money. That's what your parents told you. That's what my parents told me. That's what you probably were taught in school. Um, very difficult to create wealth that way, okay? Money is, money is there to be used. It, it is there to be spent, okay? Um, and you need to make sure you can move money around in the marketplace and spend it. I, I'm not talking about buying it on, buying consumer goods, okay? You know, having five hundred thousand dollars sitting there and going and buying a buy, buying a car or a lounge suite or whatever it is, you know, you know, that's that's consumer goods. That's stuff that goes down in value, okay? It probably goes down in value much much faster than your money sitting in a bank, by the way. So I'm talking about getting your money moving around in the marketplace that it pulls in and attracts more money, like a magnet, right? And it gives you things like increased value, increased um, brand awareness. It gets you attention, it grows your business, it grows your portfolio, uh, it gets you known in the marketplace, okay? And then it just keeps recycling and recycling and recycling, okay? So be careful about keeping your money in the bank, okay? Yeah, sure. You're gonna sleep a little bit better at night, but you're still gonna be in fear, okay? So get your money working. Don't hold on to it so tightly, okay? Um, get it working for you. Come, come and have a chat to us here at Wealth for Life. We're having an amazing year with our clients. Like so, so many of our clients are, are, uh, are building prosperity in 2019. Um, you know, we're so grateful for a lot of these ads and these messages that I sent to you because it, it brings so many people in that are actually now getting their money right in 2019, like we've been saying all along. Because the investment opportunities that are available, if you know where to look, are freaking amazing, okay? So if you're watching this video today, um, give us a call on 1-300-793-877 or jump on wealthforlife.com.au. Get through to us, have a chat to us about how we can get your money working for you. Get it out of the banking system, right, because Again, in a term deposit, you're not the one making money. Banks are making money, 
and people like me that borrow your money are making money. You're not the one making money if you've got your money sitting in a term deposit, okay? You need to understand the game of money and saving your money, holding it onto it tightly is not the way, not the way to, to, to expand, okay? Think about it. Does anything, does anything in life actually expand if you hold onto it so tightly? Of course not, okay? Money's no different, okay? So hopefully you've enjoyed this, uh, this episode of Ask Anthony. Uh, again, thank you so much for your questions, your feedback. We get some amazing feedback on these episodes. Jump onto our website if you want to have a look at past episodes that we've actually done. There's so much value um, that we give out to the marketplace, and it's free, free content, right? Use it because it's worked for me. It works for my staff, who are, you know, majority of them are investors, and it works for our clients. They come on board. They use the tools and the strategies that we talk about um, on on these um, Ask Anthony uh, Facebook videos, and they're doing great things from very small beginnings. They're achieving great things. All right, guys. So thank you very much for listening in. Until we. Uh, See each other again in about seven days' time. Take care.